Sarah Gay and Robert, five years ago we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. <laughs> So we wanted to do a video on questions and answers on our lifestyle. And I put out on Facebook um, some help in deciding what questions to ask us. And so we are going to answer questions for you guys that you submitted on Facebook for us. But some of you might not know us, so let's go through a little bit of a background. We started traveling full time about five and, uh, five and a half years ago. Um, been to 82 countries all over the world and basically we're traveling international up until COVID. Right. We sold our house, got rid of all our possessions and really just live out of a backpack. We currently are on our boat, um, which we are on occasion once or twice a year. And we have two assets, the van and the boat and that's it in our backpacks. And uh, we are also traveling on our van right now because of COVID. So we are doing a combination of boating and van life living right now. So here are the questions that people asked us. All right, here we go. So Chris asked, how do you get your mail? So I'll answer that. So we were using travelingmailbox.com. Um, so what they do is the mail goes to their address, which in that case was North Carolina. They scan it. And then uh, I just see the envelope and then I can determine if I want the inners to be scanned. And then from there, um, they, they'll send it to me, they'll forward it, whatever. Um, I get checks, uh, we own properties and I, I get checks that way and I deposit them. Just take a picture of the computer screen and deposit them. So that works out really easy. Next one is from Connie. When you make your travel plans, how much work goes into planning your trips? like where to set up camp or stay and what places to see on that particular travel. I'm going to have to defer that one to Bob because he is our master trip planner. I do all the details once we get there, but he's the one that does the big picture all the time. So my love is the planning and the excitement that goes in the planning. I mean, I love it when I'm there too, but I love the planning. So anyway, I put I have like to do um, apps that uh, I can put in there like lodging, um, you know, set up the flights. But I generally s uh, start with flights because we won't go to a certain location uh, internationally or domestically unless the flight is cheap. And so I just look for flight cheap or uh, cheap flights. Through Google Flights, right? Yeah, all yeah, pretty much every flight is through Google Flights. But, but uh, I have, so I don't know if you'll see this, but this is all the trips that we have planned. And then within each trip, I have information on, um, like we're going to Alaska, so it'll show you, that's no, not Alaska, it'll show you the details. So lodging per day, the flight, stuff like that. It's not that hard if you love it, which I do, um, but I constantly go through this. I'm constantly looking for new flights. Uh, we, we don't have a flight booked back from Germany yet, so I'm still looking at that. I go through Google Flights all the time. A lot of times, instead of flying, we're going to Graven, Germany. Um, there's Dusseldorf airports close by, but we can fly um, out of London if we have to, even though with COVID, not so much. But before, we would just take a cheap flight to London and then fly to New York City, you know, so. Um, he is the master sleuther when it comes to finding great deals, finding great places to stay, and getting us there on a budget. So. I would defer everything to him on that one. Next question is from Seth. What did you do with all your kids artwork and the giant cardboard display box with your <laughs> wedding dress? Oh my God, Seth, I love your sense of humor. I knew something like that would come from you. But I have my tux. Uh, we have that in the van. In right, the, in the box, right, right, right. So. <laughs> so no big cardboard wedding dress for me. I never had a wedding dress. We had a really small wedding, which is our MO. But the kids' artwork, yes, that was very hard for me to get rid of. We did um, take a lot of pictures and, and scanned everything into Google Photos, even our photo albums. We scanned every single picture in there. And then the actual physical art pieces, um, like the clay pots and what have you, I 
gave those to my sister, um, whom she has a lot of things in her position, but I never want to guilt anybody into keeping my own things. So if people wanted to have them, um, they decided to put them in their house, and his mom has a couple of things too as well. Great question. So a question from Oliver. Do you miss anything? So we'll answer it individually. No, I don't. I don't miss <laughs> anything. I, I miss not traveling more, uh, especially with COVID, but I'm always wanting to be on the go. This is something that I dreamt about since I was a little kid. So no, nope, don't miss the thing. So. <laughs> and Oliver, yes, sometimes there are things that I do miss. I always loved cooking in a big kitchen. So I do on occasion miss that, but that's okay. I am passionate about gardening and on occasion I miss that, but I get my fix when I go to friends' houses and I garden there and I think that that's probably it. So question from Kim, what was the scariest thing you encountered in your travels to date? So I don't think so. I mean, we were in, uh, we were in South Korea looking for Airbnb at midnight in a dark alley and these two ladies came up and she could speak English and they helped us find it. And uh, so, so that was the only time. I mean, and we weren't scared then. It was just uh, interesting. So I don't think we had any scary times. No, there's been times when we were like, oh, this is questionable. Again, in India, we India, were dropped but... off um, in two in the morning um, in an alley with trash everywhere. And our place had a security guard. So that where there's some apprehension there. But we've never been scared yet. And the more you travel, the more you get used to stuff. And so there's no use to be scared because you're, you're stuck in it. So yeah. Sue asks, how often do you do laundry? If you have minimal clothes, then I would imagine you have to go to laundry mat frequently. Well, actually, well, go ahead. Great question, Sue. Um, we do have minimal clothes and we wear them quite a bit. So, you know, it's not doing laundry that often. We do a lot of sink washing, especially when we're moving in between places. And a lot of our clothes are um, kind of like dry fit material, so we can wash in the sink. So I would say on a normal basis, we do laundry one time a week. So the real answer is we wear the same clothes constantly. And all my clothes are marine or wool, so they don't stink. Or if they do, nobody's told me yet. So, <laughs> so Amy asks, I think this travel option is awesome. But how do you pay for it? Do you have health insurance? So how we pay for it is uh, we bought properties, commercial, residential properties, um, 25 years ago, and we worked those. We worked them hard for 20 years, and uh, um, so that's what pays for it. And do we have health insurance? Yes, we do. We have health insurance that we pay for, I don't know, like $800 a month, something like that. Very high deductible but we have the money saved for the deductible. When we travel internationally, we have a policy, I think it's $390 a year, and that gives us health care um, uh, around the world. And that has, uh, I believe, zero deductible or very low. So we actually have better health insurance when we're international than we do here. And when we're traveling, we actually take advantage of that and get our teeth clean in other um, countries in the world because it's really expensive in the United States. So we've had our teeth cleaned in Jordan and Thailand and Mexico. And the prices there are $35 compared to $150 at least in the United States. And yeah. And in Thailand, they had, it was very high and they had iPads to check you in and, you know. So. State of the art. We never have any questions about getting health care when, yeah. when it's needed. So Renee asked, do you ever just want to go home and set a spell around holidays, for example, stretch out and live a little more comfort for a bit? I mean, we do actually, you know, we uh, more so because of COVID, but we will. We'll uh, hang out with uh, family and our boys. Um, but you know, outside of seeing family and our boys, no, I, I have zero desire for that. Um, I like being out of my comfort zone. I like to be moving. I, I realize that time is short, um, hopefully not too short, but so for me, nothing. Uh, we do cherish the time when we are back with our, our kids and friends and family, and it is really nice to spread out with our mix of traveling and how we do it and staying in Airbnbs and hanging out with our guys. 
that is enough for us and so that works you know currently the way we're doing it and that's for all our friends and family that are watching so they <laughs> um steve asks how strong is the vent fan in the toilet area in the van steve yes great <laughs> question and an appropriate question coming from you as well <laughs> no no fan in there but we have the the back doors that can open and we have a pretty big fan in the middle so we actually flip the flan the fan to come pull the air in and so that way it doesn't suck it out of the bathroom area so <laughs> and yeah. on the boat steve there's no fan we just have a no. tiny porta potty and we just crack a window so kathy asks when traveling out of the country what to use for phone service and health insurance so for phone service we use google fi which is fantastic it's google's um uh, uh, phone service, but we get LTE internationally unlimited. And every country we go to, we land and boom, we have full LTE coverage. So that's a game changer. Um, that's what we use there for health insurance. We use, uh, I think it's a Trek Choice. It's you know, it's some sort of uh, travel insurance that covers us for 70 days out of the. Um, uh, out of the US and then as long as we go back for a day and then another 70 days so it resets and it's for one year and I think it's $390 for both of us so it's really yeah. so Karen asks when you are in a particular wonderful place do you daydream about putting down roots <laughs> so go ahead you answer first <laughs> there is a little portion of me that having roots would be fantastic but where would that be? I, I would need to be by our guys and I, we have no idea where they're going to be. So that is up in the air. So currently right now, no, because I love being able to just drop everything and go see them. They often ask us, you know, to come on trips and things. And so the flexibility and the variety is really working. Well, and you know, our guys love to travel too. So our oldest might be moving to Bali. So what we go and live in bali you know or the pacific northwest is where they're at right now and so so that for me to answer that question absolutely not you know it's like no i have no desire for for roots i don't foresee that ever being the case uh i love travel i love change i'm addicted to change um you know it would it would kill me i did that for 50 years and loved it uh you know having the kids grow up and they had nice co or uh, high school and all that time but uh, no I'm, I'm done with that myself so Laurie asks where when do you do dental visits physicals etc so when we are back in the United States and back in uh, Wisconsin we do our physicals um, annually like we should well the only problem is they don't do anything anymore they you don't know? so so a lot of times we don't do the physical because yeah. they don't actually do anything besides talk to you so yeah honestly yeah we don't really do a physical anymore because there's nothing to do i go back for my my mammogram and that's it but then we get our dental care done when we are traveling abroad and uh, we will continue to do that and it was great when we were in jordan uh, we found a place a dentist that could speak english and anyway he told us he was from uh what syria and he gave us all this information about syria and his mom still lives there so we ended up actually talking to him for an hour after our dental cleaning that was uh really fun so annie says not a question but i'm still amazed by your minimal wardrobe <laughs> annie i know right but you know you gotta do what you gotta do yeah i you know me i love clothes and fashion but what i do is recycle everything i go to secondhand stores and i wear it for a couple months and then i leave it wherever i'm at in case somebody wants it and then i go out and purchase new things so, so thanks annie so tom asks Oh, wait, no, I guess it's Rochelle asked, <laughs> how do you spend so much time with just you and Bob asking for a friend? So it's, it's tough. I mean, it's not easy being with Gay 24-7, but uh, I make do. So no, we are best friends. So we're, I mean, it's, we're it's, a team. Kind of, and for team. us, it I has always worked this way. And of course, there's times when we get on each other and just nerves, but I think we have a very unique relationship compared to a lot of people. Well, I swear that was from Tom, but I guess not. So. <laughs> so Suzanne said, you have so many beautiful earrings. Where do you store all your treasures? Have you enough space in your campsite? 
So I don't wear them myself, <laughs> but maybe Gay can answer this question. Thanks for the question, Susan from Germany. Uh, I get all my earrings when we travel internationally, and I have some really good friends that have made me some pieces, and I've made some pieces on my own, but I have a tiny little box that I keep it in, and, um, you know, that's just what I can have, and, that you know, I can only have a few. So I do like to trade them out when we're traveling, and I like to buy things, and that is the only thing I buy when we are traveling to other parts of the world. So Kathy asks, how often do you shop for food and what food do you always have on hand in the van? So I'll let Gary explain. Hey Kathy, um, when we have the van, I mean, that's super easy. And you know, I do a big shopping um, spree just like I would when we had the house uh, once a week, you know. But with the van, I can stop often. Food that I always have on hand um, on the van, you know, would be uh, easy throw together things like obviously pasta and rice. And then I always need fruit and I always need salad and, and vegetables, but that's, it, it works very easy. So Tom asks, I like tech stuff. So Tom, so we actually have rear engines on here. We have two of them. So kind of like the Porsche, we have the, the, the dual. But I've been trying to, you know, give it that all go but it, it just it doesn't work it quite as like uh like your vehicle so <laughs> but we will continue to do the tech stuff i love tech also so joe asks what all is in your 18 to 22 liter backpacks and how often do you do laundry and that's from joe and amanda um which we met by the way on the boat in seattle probably about three four years ago but Anyway, uh, we will do a video on the, what we carry when we do uh, go international, just because it's, it's kind of interesting, because there's not a lot. Um, mine is really tiny, but it, it's, you know, I always say it's fantastic, but it's really, I love it. Uh, very minimal, you know, just a few pieces of clothing, uh, hygiene care, and um, you know, one or two pairs of shoes, and that's it. Oh, I do always have a carry a emergency coffee filter with me and a manual coffee grinder if i have to choose between a hair dryer and a coffee grinder the hair dryer goes and you got to keep the coffee grinder so I, I watch other people do question and answers and they always say you know leave your comments below so definitely uh ask more questions so if you're if you're not in this list ask more questions we love doing this it's so fun to share what we do and uh i have a passion for this lifestyle so it's fun to share and it's it's interesting thanks for all the questions everybody love them and you know put in some more and we'll do more question and answers